हॅलो माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर कुंदन इंगले ए आर टी कन्सल्टंट फ्रॉम माईल्स विश्वराज आय व्ही एफ सेंटर विश्वराज हॉस्पिटल पुणे फ्रेंड्स आय व्ही एफ इज अ व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट ट्रीटमेंट पार्ट ऑफ ए आर टी इन टुडेज वर्ल्ड अचिव्हिंग पॅरेंटहूड इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट ड्रीम फॉर अनी इन्फर्टिलिटी कपल अँड टू अचिव्ह दिस इन व्हायट्रो फर्टिलायझेशन मीन्स आय व्ही एफ ट्रीटमेंट हॅज प्लेड अ व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट रोल फॉर अनी इन्फर्टिलिटी कपल Previously, the success of IVF was almost 45 to 50 percent only. But now we could go on increase this success rate of IVF to 73 to 75 percent. What is required for success of IVF is successful implantation of a good quality embryo into the uterus. Obviously, to achieve this natural implantation, what we need is a good quality blastocyst embryo. we need good adequate endometrial growth and its blood supply in the uterus and also absence of certain medical conditions in her to begin with let's speak about how to achieve a blastocyst quality of course the embryo quality depends on what quality of gametes we get it from both of their body to achieve good quality gametes following factors plays a very important role age habits like smoking tobacco and alcohol consumption her body habitus that is overweight or obese also presence of certain medical conditions into the pelvic cavity like infections like tuberculosis endometriosis all these factors are important even husband and wife they have to keep it in mind if they have a diabetes that diabetes has to be very very well controlled to achieve a better quality gametes let's talk about endometrial thickness and endometrial blood flow very important role of these two factors in achieving success rate so if before undergoing ivf if we check these things by color doppler ultrasound then we will get to know whether her uterus is receptive for embryo for successful implantation or no if it is poor blood flow then better to improve this blood flow prior to ivf so that we can have that confidence of achieving success before even undergoing ivf conditions like hydrosulfings endometriosis in her better to treat these conditions by laparoscopy beforehand and also if you do hysteroscopy prior to ivf you will be able to diagnose conditions like polyp fibroid adhesions presence of infection in the uterine cavity which can fail us so friends follow a right process to achieve your success thank you very much